We are proud to present the playground for the mind. <clears throat> the playground for the mind. The playground for the mind. What are you doing? Uh, presenting Squintle. You're taking this way too serious. We took the modern text editor and we removed its boundaries. The page became a canvas. It's all designed to realize your mind's full potential. So you have fun while shaping your ideas. Thank you. So forget about the tools that are out there today. The real question is, how do we help you create what you want as quickly as possible? Let's say you're planning a vacation. There are so many places you want to go, right? You place everything on the canvas and simply drag them to where you want them to be. If you realize you can't visit this museum and that restaurant on the same day, you can just break things apart. Oh, it's just like breaking blocks with your hands. Exactly. So in the beginning, you write whatever comes to your mind and Scrintle lets you create it quickly. Now I'm happy with my creation here and I want to keep it. So I just tell Scrintle that and it turns these blocks into a document for me. Let's say you're done with your own planning, but you want to give some tips to your friends, right? You can just reuse the same suggestions. Just search for them in the library and bring them to a new board. And the very nice thing is, even when you're working with the documents, you get to move your ideas freely. So everything happens in Scrintle now? Yeah. That's pretty cool. As time passes, your library also grows. So it's very likely that you will see an idea and you will be like, this was a really good idea, but I don't remember where I got that from. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Mm. So to solve the where did this come from problem, Scrintle lets you trace anything back. You can check out this workshop summary and see why let's have fever me things is an action point. Because everyone said it over and over again. So you get to see the connections, you never lose the context. And that is the power. We know what you're thinking. It all sounds nice, but aren't the tools we already have enough? Today's tools aren't built to reflect how we think and remember. In the early days, we had to find digital solutions for writing documents and storing all of that information. So we replicated the physical office. File cabinets became file systems with folders and typewriters became word processors. Eventually, we realized that text editors are great for writing, but they don't really help us think. So we added the whiteboard to the mix. But ask yourself, what do you really need to think in a digital world? You need space and you need freedom to be creative, but you also need structure. So why not build one tool that has all of that? All this fuss is to say, Playground for the Mind is finally here. Go try it, join our community, and let us know what you think. But this is just the beginning. We have a long roadmap ahead of us. See you around. <laughs>